What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today we're going to talk about how to play 2B and also give some recommended builds that you can put on the character depending on the rank that you have her at. Now, 2B is a pretty awesome character. Unfortunately, she isn't like A2 and 9S where you actually get her for free. You do have to pull for her in the banner, and as I showed you guys in a previous video, Whenever you just have her on the team, A2's shred defense actually goes up. So that in itself makes her worthwhile to pull for the character. And if you can't pull for her right now, you know, wait for the near rerun, and then you can actually try to pick her up then. Now, I do have her six-star weapon, and this is a really nice weapon because it does increase her physical damage by 15%. Also, it's going to double the effects of leader's skill, which is nice, guys. And then upon entering combat, gains 160 stability, and switching to battle stance gives two stacks of data correction. This is really going to help her damage something fierce, as we'll talk about a little bit more later on. Now, when it comes to her recommended memory builds, guys, I mean, this is really what's recommended for her. It's a four-piece pattern with two coddies. 2B does a lot of damage with her signature, and this is actually really nice because you gain more energy at a faster rate, and the signature move requires 20% less energy, so you're actually able to use your signature quite fast, especially with 2B's leadership. If you're using her leadership where you already acquire a certain amount of energy already, you can almost go into your signature pretty much immediately with a two-piece Kadi. Now, some people, if they have her at a higher level than mine, mine's actually a double S, but if you have her a triple S, then a lot of people would recommend, you know, maybe having a four-piece Kadi on her, uh, which would actually, you know, give you that extra damage reduction, increase your damage. It's just going to allow you to go in your signature even faster. It's pretty much for spamming signatures, pretty much what you're going to be doing. And then with two Darwins on top, Darwins always go on top, guys. But if you're running maybe a two Darwin and four-piece Kadi, for a triple S, or maybe you can run with this here at triple S if you really want to. Uh, some people might put two Darwins with a four-piece Hannah, although she won't really be optimal with that. I mean, it will make it easier for her to go into her signature or for her to go into her core passive, because if you do three yellows with three reds afterwards, you can actually, or three three ping and three yellow ping into any other color uh, three ping, you actually go into her core passive where you do more damage. So in that respect, it does help. But it's not really going to be optimal for her compared to these other sets that you can actually put on the character. So again, guys, you could use a four-piece Kadi if you have her at triple S and above to do insane spamming on her signature with two Darwins on top. Or you could run with the setup that I'm using. Or you could have a two-piece Darwin with four-piece Patton, which would really be the most damage per se. It's going to give you the most damage to have a two-piece Darwin up here. And then a four-piece Patton would actually give you the most damage. Now, let's talk about her orbs, all right? And let's talk about her kit. So when it comes to 2B, her red orbs unleashes a forward strike with light and heavy weapons, dealing a total of a certain percentage of damage. And physical damage is based on the number of orbs ping, and she gains super armor. And you're going to notice she gains super armor on every one of her uh, orbs, every all the colors. And then her yellow orb changes forward and unleashes a series of light attacks, dealing a certain percentage of physical damage based on the number of orbs ping, and drags the enemy. Gains super armor during shield breaker. Hitting an enemy with yellow orbs will inflict weaken, reducing the attack by 61 or a certain percentage for a certain amount of time, guys. That's actually really awesome because it means that your opponents won't be doing as much damage to you. And then you can control the attack direction through the movement joystick. So you can actually move this thing around. It's actually good to help you avoid any kind of danger. And then the blue orbs uh, uses the pod to unleash Mirage, dealing a total of a certain percentage of damage to the surrounding enemies based on the number of orbs ping. And you also gain super armor. So all the orbs give her super armor, which is really, really nice. And then her basic attack unleashes a series of forward light attacks, dealing a certain percentage of physical damage. Upon evading, you will enter a sprinting state. So once you evade, and you hold your dodge down, you can actually go into sprint, which is really, really nice and very, very handy for getting out of danger whenever you're facing opponents. While sprinting, basic attacks release sprinting attacks, dealing a total of a certain percentage of damage. Her signature, and this is really the big moneymaker, it's an awesome name for it, the Devastator. It really does devastate everything in its way. Uh, it consumes 80 signature energy, and this is something else that's nice about her, is that you know some characters have to consume 100 energy in order to do the signature. 2B doesn't, and along with her leadership and having, like, say, just a two-piece Cotty, seriously, guys, you can go, you'll see in the gameplay that I'll show you later on that you can just go in your signature so fast. It's awesome, and you are invincible when you're in the signature. You are in an iframe when you're doing your signature move, so you won't take any damage during this thing. And unleash the heavy charge attack forward, dealing a total of a certain percentage of physical damage. Once the final blow hits the target, unleash the second heavy attack forward, dealing a certain percentage of physical damage. So it's really important when you do your signature to try to make sure that the opponent isn't going to be in front of you, that they're not going to jump out of the way, anticipate those kind of movements. And as long as you hit them, she'll do another combo on top of the first hit where she does a lot more damage. Very, very important. Her QT, you know, deals a certain percentage of damage. Uh, you know, this, you know, her attacker increases her damage. 
And then obviously when you unlock her Ultima, get her, you know, resonate her memories, get her, give her a certain amount of BP. She's going to have eight orbs available at the very beginning of the fight. Or I'm sorry, seven orbs. I always want to say eight, but it's actually seven orbs. Now her core passive, any three ping after a yellow three ping grants to be 160 stability. All right. So it's very important to always hit a three ping yellow where you're doing a three ping yellow, just, you know, three ping out and open. Or you go into your matrix and hit a one ping yellow. That way you can start this, right? And then 2B loses 20 points of stability per second. Retriggering does not refresh the duration. While 2B has stability, she enters the battle stance, which causes basic attacks. Red orbs and yellows launch sword waves that deal a certain percentage of physical damage per hit. So she's going to have this little gauge at the bottom here. And as long as that gauge is up and you're doing orbs, you actually throw out like little swirling sword waves in front of you. Kind of similar to Alpha, except Alpha is more like a diagonal slash that's going in front of her. But we'll show you that in a second, guys. And then blue orbs will disrupt hits received. So her blue orbs is actually counts as a counter hit. So like if you're getting attacked and you use your blue orbs, you can actually escape it. Kind of similar to Kamu's blue orbs as well. And then while in battle stance, any two three ping red orbs will add one to two stacks of data correction for a seconds max three stacks. So when you enter her core passive, she's going to have this gauge at the bottom of the screen. And whenever you're doing red orbs afterwards, it's going to keep that gauge up for a longer amount of time. As long as you're hitting red orbs, that thing's going to keep refilling and you're going to be able to keep using your sword waves throughout the fight, which is actually really, really nice. And then on top of that, whenever you're, this is going on, each stack grants 2% physical damage bonus if 9S and A2 are on the team, which is nice, right? Effect increases to 4%. I'm sorry, if 9S and A2 are on the team, this increase of 4%, without them, it only grants 2% physical damage. This can go up to 6% because it stacks up to three times. There's going to be a little thing in the corner. We'll show you that in a little bit, guys, that tells you uh, how much data correction you actually have. And then once 2B ex exits battle stance, all data correction stacks will be removed. Obtaining additional stacks or unleashing signature move will refresh the duration of data correction. While signature move is active, stability will not decrease. And then you see a leadership, and this is what I mean by you know, her leadership is really important, especially for trying to do her signature, because if you have her signature up, right, uh, obviously her leadership is going to increase all of the near team's damage by 8%, but gaining that 25% signature energy is actually really, really nice, especially for someone like 2B, as I mentioned earlier, if you're especially if you're running Akati, you can just enter her signature almost immediately. And then, you know, whenever she's at double S, if 2B, 9S, and A2 are in the team, activate the signature move, uh, 9S and A2's crit rate increased by 10% while 2B's crit rate increased by 25%. This lasts for 12 seconds. This is insane, guys, but this is only a double S, right? You're gaining, you know, that extra critical rate by 25%, and that's really, really good. But then a triple S is when the real damage skyrockets, and that's when her sword wave damage increases by 50%, guys. That is a massive amount of damage increase. And then after unleashing a signature move, consumes all yellow orbs to charge your great sword and convert single orbs into random orbs upon hitting an enemy with the sword waves it's a big reason why she does so much damage at triple s and then 2b and 9s gain five signature energy while a2 recovers one percent max hp for pod shield so whenever a2's in the sidelines and you know you got this girl at triple s you had 2b at triple s she's still recovering one percent of her max hp of that pod that's nice guys i mean she's gonna be able to have her berserker up uh for a longer amount of time and then both effects have a one and a half second cooldown. Physical damage from each stack of direct friction increases by 4%. So uh, again, when you go from to triple S, her data correction, instead of being 2% as a solo character, goes up to 4%. And when you have 9S and A2 on the team, the effect increases to 8%. I mean, it's just really nutty. And then, you know, triple S plus, she has extra damage reduction by 30% while casting a skill, casting 2020 Mirage. Also makes 2B invincible for 0.3 seconds, guys. I mean, so her survivability goes up tremendously when she's at triple S plus. And then while battle stands active, gains 10% additional physical damage, so her damage goes up. And then if 9S and A2 are also in her team, effect increases by 20%. So lots and lots of damage buffs for 2B, man. Especially, I mean, obviously when you level them up, you get them triple S. Triple S plus is really when you're going to see some insanity so 2b's got some interesting things and she's definitely got some amazing looking skills you know uh, her skills are beautiful and if you've ever played near automata and really for all these characters kuro games has done just such an amazing job on all these characters i mean if you're familiar with all these games or with near automata then a lot of these movesets that you're seeing her do you're going to recognize so her blue orb right this is a move that she actually does in near automata when you dodge it's actually really, really cool, right? And then her red orbs here does a slash, sliding slash, and then a forward slash afterwards. That is pretty sweet, right? 
And then her yellow orbs. Now, her yellow orbs, you can actually move around. See how I'm moving there? That's pretty damn cool, man. So you can actually avoid danger by using that thing. So we're going to try to enter her core pass, and I'll show you guys something here, right? And show you how you really want to try to be uh, playing this girl. Yeah, she's going to murder that guy. We're going to go ahead and dodge and then just run up here, right? Okay. We were trying to get some uh, yellow orbs here. I want some yellow orbs. Uh, they're not really working with me here to give me those yellow orbs. There we go. Okay, so now we need another three ping. All right. And I want three reds. So here's the deal, guys. Whenever you do a three ping yellow into a three ping red, it's when you're going to see the data correction show up up here. Okay? And what you want to do is whenever you hit your yellow orb, right? You see the data correction right here, right? And once I use another red orb, well, I actually did it too late. But whenever you use your red orbs, you actually will keep that thing up the whole time. And as long as that's up, you're going to be doing more physical damage. You saw a little two up here. That means she was doing 4% damage because right now she's just at double S, right? But if she was at triple S, that would actually go up. So whenever you're playing with her, ideally what you're trying to do is after you enter your core passive, like after you do three yellows into uh, three red, let me see if I can get another red up here. It's kind of a, you know, I really probably should have pre-recorded this, to be honest, guys. Okay, so watch what we do here. So we'll hit this. We'll hit this. You see the data correction up here, right? And now we're going to hit that red orb. And there it increased again, right? This will fill up and stay up as long as you're using your red orbs. And then, of course, your signature. Now, like if I'm far away and I hit that signature, it is going to miss. You're not going to get your continuous combo hits. But if you're up close and you do this, baby... Then she does this little combo afterwards, which is really, really nice. And if you played Nier Automata, you would know that that is her uh, heavy attack skill from Nier Automata, which is actually pretty damn cool. And there's also something else about 2B that's actually really awesome, especially if you played again Nier Automata. I know I keep bringing that up, guys, but seriously, Kuro Games did such a great job with all of these characters. And this here is nuts. Now, I want you guys to watch this and see how I do this. So she does a little something in Nier Automata that's pretty interesting. And whenever you build up 16 orbs, you start doing a bunch of three uh, pings and then you just spam your orbs. Right here, you can see on the right hand side, that little icon, when that icon shows up and you hit that baby, look what happens. Not bad, self-destruct mode. <laughs> and she pretty much throws all of her clothes off of her. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite the view. And like I said, guys, if you played the original game near, then you would know that that's uh, something she actually does. So again, guys, to do that, you just want to build up, you know, 16 orbs here. And you want to do like three, three pings in a row and then just spam your orbs afterwards. And once that little icon shows up, hit it and you can self-destruct. But she's literally as easy as just hitting a three ping yellow into your three ping reds, then using his bunch of red afterwards to keep her uh, data correction up, so that way she's doing more damage. Sometimes you're going to use your blue orbs, sometimes you know orbs fall as they may. That's generally what you're trying to do, guys. And whenever you have that data correction up, whenever you have those little signs up here in the top left-hand corner, when you do her signature, she's going to do even more damage. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a couple runs that I did with 2B. So let me know how you're all doing in the game. Let me know what you think about 2B. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.